Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Damn, this game is amazing, but also it's taking a lot of resources. I'm playing on, uh, I did all my tests with a Ryzen 3900X with an RTX 2070. And honestly, when I choose the eye hand uh, feature without touching anything, I'm getting like 50, uh, 57 to 60 FPS when I, uh, I run my plane, so yeah, it's pretty rough <laughs> to run this game. So we'll start with the optimization of Windows. So first of all, write game mode in your Windows. Make sure that your game mode is at off. It's causing like stuttering and drop of FPS also. So make sure that this one is at off. Make sure that your X game, Xbox game bar is at off and also all those uh, overlay that you're currently using. I don't know, Discord, AMD overlay, Nvidia overlay. Make sure that you remove that. And the capture from Windows, make sure that your background recording is at off and your recorded audio is at off. If you did the latest uh, driver, um, your latest update for your NVIDIA driver and your uh, Windows driver, write GPU here. You will see a graphic setting option. Uh, you will see the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure this one is at on. If you it was not at on, make sure that you restart your computer to apply uh, this new feature. I have a dedicated video if you want to know more about it. So, yep. Uh, now, uh, the last thing is your graphic drivers. So, uh, if you have like Nvidia right now, they just released a brand new driver for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I did a test, I got like a 6% boost in my FPS. So, really important to do that. Probably AMD will release a, a driver soon also. And even the Intel, sometimes uh, they, they push like updates on the for the integrated video card. So, make sure that you're doing your latest uh, driver update. One more thing is where you install the game. So, for an example, if you're running a flight simulator on Steam, right click on it. Click properties, go to local file, say browse local file. So this this will show you where you install the game, and you need to look at the execute file. So this is Flight Simulator. You will see that it's like 300 meg. Right click on it, click properties, go to compatibility, press disable full screen optimization, click on change IDPI setting, and make sure override override IDPI scaling behavior is checked. Also, this game is running on the DirectX 11, so that's why we're doing that. It will optimize your game. So now let's go inside of the game. So now in the game, we'll press in general. So first of all, make sure that your display mode is full screen, really important. Also, after all the things that I will show you, if you still don't get the amount of FPS that you want, make sure that you uh, lower your resolution. This is pretty much your last resort. Uh, so yeah. Uh, after that, V-Sync, make sure that your uh, V-Sync is at off. I don't know why, when VSync is at on, I can't see more than 60 FPS in this game. So that's a bit weird. That's why I'm just disabled VSync. Anyway, I'm never used VSync in games. Render scaling, I'm using 100%. For sure, you can go, you can downscale your game, but your game will look like crap. Uh, you can try it, honestly, 95, 90. This is pretty much the max you can do, but because after that, you will see like pixel and your game will look, look blurry. Anti-aliasing, this one is a bit weird for me because I did a test TAA versus off and I was getting 1 FPS so I didn't understand uh, this one so if you have like a low-end computer just test it maybe it will uh, change something for you but uh, for me it's pretty much the same and I see that the effect is there so when I put anti-aliasing off I see that I don't have any anti-aliasing now so my game looks like shit and I don't get more FPS, so that's a bit weird for me. So anyway, that's why I'm keeping TAA. The two sliders over there, Terrain level, level of detail and the uh, Objects level of detail, those ones are kind of uh, important because by default for me, uh, I was choosing the IN custom setting. They are at 100. So render, uh, sorry, over there. Terrain level of detail. When when I use 100 and I put this one at 10, I'm getting 12 of FPS. So that's a pretty nice boost over there. And for this one, when I put it at 10 also, I'm getting 7 FPS boost. So that's a huge thing for me. So again, if you're struggling with FPS, like go with something, I don't know, like 20 and 20 over there. Do a test. You will gain a nice like... 15 FPS boost, so those ones are really important. 
Terran Vector Data Building Trees, Grass and Bush. I'm putting those one at medium. I, I see that you can get like 1 to 2 FPS for each like high to medium but i didn't see a huge impact between low and medium for me so that's why i'm keeping it at medium uh, when i see i don't see an impact i see an impact in the image quality but i don't see an impact in my fps so for me it's a bit weird but again this game is a bit like different than like a first person shooter game because if you're really high in the sky you will not necessarily see the impact but if you go down like more in the city and stuff like that now you will see that your fps are dropping like crazy or if you have like a big forest probably you will need to lower your trees and grass and bush but for me honestly i feel like the best balance right now it's medium for those one uh, after that, let's go over there. This one reset. I didn't know why. So volumetric cloud. This one go with low. I versus low. I'm getting like four percent boost in my FPS. So really important. All those texture resolution, anisotropic filtering, texture super sampling, texture synthesis. This one is if you have more than six gig of VRAM, go with i 8x 4x4 and i. If you have like 4 gig, go with medium, 4x, 2x4, and medium. And if you have less than 4 gig, go with low, 2x, off, and low. So this is really important. Uh, when I put everything in the max for my texture, uh, I'm using 7 gig of VRAM on my video card. This is the first time I see that. So I was kind of impressed by it. So this is uh, pretty much a setting that you will need to do depending, oops, sorry, depending on your setting. So I seem to have a problem with the connection here. Okay, so that's about it. Water wave. Again, it's pretty much the same thing that uh, all those four uh, graphic parameters over there. I didn't see a big improvement. Uh, so that's why I'm keeping it at medium. But again, if you're very high, you don't necessarily see the waves on the, the water. But if you go near the water and you're getting crazy drop, this is probably because of that i did a test high versus medium i'm getting like two fps and low versus medium i'm getting one fps so that's why again i'm using medium for this parameter uh shadow maps terrain shadow contact shadow those one are really important even mbl inclusion that's why i'm putting those one at off this is pretty much where you will get your fps so go with 768 off terrain shadow contact shadow off and ambient inclusion at off and you will gain a nice chunk of FPS. Again, when you're really high in the sky, it will not affect your FPS. But when you go lower in the city, it's crazy. It's like it will give you like 15 to 16 FPS. And it's not necessarily a boost. It's more like you were at 60 and now you're in the city. So you're like at 35 or 40. So when you put all those shadow at off, you will probably gain your 60 again. So uh, yeah, that's it's pretty rough. <laughs> Windfield, uh, windshield sorry effect this one i'm putting at low i don't like this effect in the game and also i was getting like drop of fps when i'm getting like water rain and stuff like that so that's why i'm putting this one at low reflection is really important also uh i saw like high versus low i like i stabilized my fps with this one like a six percent boost uh, when I see a lot of reflection, I was getting a lot of drop. So this is a way that I can stabilize my FPS with the reflection at low. After that, uh, light shaft, bloom, depth of field, lens correction, and the lens flare, everything at off. And also it's giving me like a 5-6% to 6 boost in my FPS. After that, the traffic. If you're struggling, you're still struggling with your FPS, their aircraft traffic type, you can definitely use off if you have like a, an entry level computer. It will help you a lot. And all those airport life, land and sea traffic, put those one at, me, at the, the minimum and it will help you a lot for your FPS. Really important, don't use the AI offline. I don't know why, if it's broken or not, but I was losing like 50% of my FPS when I was using this feature. So right now, honestly, with the real time, everything runs fine. I don't use the AI one. It's like just breaking your FPS. So uh, that's, yeah, that's about it. So that's it, guys, for the guide. Uh, if you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. Also, if you have like, other stuff that you want to add to this guide uh, just comment po post me like solution stuff that you find and uh, optimization also and i will try to i will really happy to see that and uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys and have a good flight peace